What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling fantastic today. For those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So for uh, um, the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. I'll talk about what sign she's you're doing great, girl. I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a oh, excuse me, a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave some of the shenanigans with me. Never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. I'm just very, just feeling really big energy today, Cancer. It's, it's, it's Monday. It's, hold on, Cancer. Crystals, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. And like I was saying, how could it not be? It's Monday. It's, the, you know, our ruler mo rules over Monday. <laughs> Venus is here. <laughs> it's just fantastic energy. Let me tell you why Venus is here, uh, Cancer. Because the moon is in Libra. And with the moon being in Libra, this is a great energy for, you know, kind of checking in with your relationships there, Cancer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But for checking in with your relationships, Cancer, just seeing if there is that, that sense of harmony in them. You know, do we feel that there's a, you know, a level of diplomacy that, um, or not a level of diplomacy, but more so that if there's, um, it is more of a balanced air there. And then this energy also allows us to speak with more diplomacy there, Cancer, to consider all sides of the of uh, of an argument before we make a fair decision there so very good for if we've um if we've noticed maybe people around us maybe tensions have been high you know their ruler venus has been in a uh, leo for uh will be in leo for a little while and sometimes leo energy can get a little big and she's uh just went retrograde not too long ago so there may be uh maybe a little trickiness there every now and again but you could be the person that resolves things can't you know the voice of reason but um one more thing with this energy, Cancer, You, this is a great energy for as well if we've been, um, or you may notice that you're, you may have troubles like making decisions at, during this time. Because Libra, where they do, um, because they do weigh all the options, sometimes they'll just choose to not make any decision, you know, and that's kind of similar to I have a Gemini moon and that's, uh, if I have too many options, I'm just like, you know what, I don't need it that bad, it's fine. So, so but, you know, Cancer, that needing a sounding board can be really great too with this uh, wax and crescent energy here because the wax and crescent is about setting your intention, you know, for what, the, what you wanted to get started with this new moon cycle so if this is something where we're having troubles maybe really kind of grounding this idea you know we can kind of spitball with someone just like hey you know i got this idea you know yeah what what what, what are you know what what would be some ways you would maybe go about it or maybe there's some ways that we can both go about this because you know libra is also about partnerships so look at that cancer look at you forming a who know and who knows what that may look like or maybe even like a community type thing cancer you know raise the vibration but it is too cancer for you know building your self-confidence you know self-assurance you know and really just that really kind of planning phase cancer so and be kind to yourself as you're figuring this thing out you know it's a uh, it's a lot you know trying to figure out you know where else do we want to improve or where else balance is needed so just something to think about there cancer and then in the last uh, few things these readings that i do they're not gender specific readings so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations and then the decks that I'm working with. I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested in Cancer. But also down below are links for some other readers that I like watching. So definitely check them out. Very cool group. I think you'll like them, Cancer. Well, let's get to your general energy of the day. Huh. Which is uh, Libra's opposite sign here. You got the eighth card of Aries, which is the shooting star. You know, Cancer, I think the North Node and the South Node just moved into, the, um, into Aries and Libra. So something to think about there. Cancer thinking about, you know... Oh, even actually while I'm talking about that, before we kind of get into that, because that sort of deals with this shooting star type of energy here. You know, with the, I, I, I want to say it's the North Node that is in, in Aries.
hilarious. But what that's about is just like taking charge for like self, you know, thinking about what things do we want to accomplish and you know it's and then having the south node in libra it's like evaluating any sort of like relationships or maybe some things that we may need to let go you know things we may want to improve on but it's a it's an interesting energy so it's finding that balance between like if we've been very focused on self then relationships may come into the mix and then kind of like a vice versa type of energy there cancer but <clears throat> With the shooting star, this is a card of quick action, wish granted, rare, falling, moment in time, luck, dynamic, incandescent, dazzled, sudden, short-lived, passionate, passing through, enterprising, and brilliant. And the energy that's coming through Cancer is this moment in time, and, you know, we are, I feel, and I feel like this is like, you know, whenever um, any sort of like... Uh, I feel like anybody at any point has thought this is like a, you know, like a unique moment in time. And I do feel like it's, I don't know, Cancer, it feels like that we are in this energy of <clears throat> really just kind of paying attention to what's going on in, in the, in the, in the energies in the world, you know, really kind of piecing things together here. I feel like there's this, we're in a very, I feel like kind of special moment in time where there is this sort of this sort of like almost like collective um how do i want to put that like this like this where this like the collective energies are kind of like coming together there feels like there's more of this or at least this energy that's trying to form more of these bonds here as opposed to you know i feel like we were you know we were in a time at for a minute there where things were you know seemed a little you know very divisive and things but i feel like it's trying to the scales are trying to tip it back in that other direction here because now it's like i don't know it's like we're we're moving we're getting ready I feel, I feel like a big part of it is, you know, with just like Pluto's kind of setting that stage moving into Aquarius. We're just like, we're going to start thinking more about that collective energy and like doing things that just raise the whole, you know, just the vibration as a whole here, Cancer. And I know this seems kind of, may seem kind of big here, but I feel like it's thinking about kind of how we're contributing to this, to this energy and however, you know, however it looks cancer, but it's just as long as there's some sort of, I feel like kind of this balance here of just like enjoying this moment in time and seeing, you know, what, what wishes do we want to make manifest in this, in this energy too, cancer. And this gives me very kind of like star card energy where it's like, speaking of Aquarius, it gives me kind of star card energy where it's like, we're, we're showing, showing what, uh, almost like showing the universe, like, why, uh, like our potential, like really like letting our inner star kind of shine here, cancer. I, I like that, you know, but kind of nice, nice little thoughts there on a Monday. I'm with it. Let's get, uh, let's get some tarot on this cancer. Okay, interesting. So we have the Ten of Wands. Let's see. So we have the Ten of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of, or the Two of Stars, and then the King of Crystals and the Six of Crystals here, Cantor. And the energy that I'm kind of feeling here, Cantor, is this. It almost feels like that if we can find a way here, Cancer, just like <clears throat> when I'm more so getting here now with this moment in time is really kind of more sort of present here, Cancer, and thinking about and thinking about some of the 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 things that kind of weigh us down in life, you know, whether this be, you know, like any kind of stressors, any kind of anxieties, you know, fatigue, you know, just anything that are just like that have got you thrown off balance here, Cancer. Maybe this is emotionally, maybe this financially, physically, whatever this is looking like. And I feel that there is 
I feel like if we were to work towards this, this moving away from this Ten of Wands in a state, or just like redirecting this energy, because Ten of Wands, where, yes, you know, the burdens and things are tough, but they are... I feel like in a sense they're they're kind of like motivators because we're trying to relieve there's something that we want to relieve but it's not something we would have even had eyes on or paid attention to had we not been in this situation in the first uh, way cancer when whenever this maybe kind of current present thing that we may be dealing with but <clears throat> I do feel that. I feel there's this energy of it's like a really learning ways of it's not just learning the ways of how to let's say for example if we wanted to you know become more flexible just seeing how she's doing yoga it's like it's more than just it's not that we're just like looking at like you know maybe other people like doing yoga or thing or thinking about man i wish i would go to a yoga class or it's like just maybe it's like maybe even just like taking moments just like throughout the day just do a little light stretches just like you know maybe stretch your wrist and things like that or you know and then maybe looking if we don't want to do like a membership at a gym maybe doing looking for some like stuff on youtube or kind of look out for some other stuff fitness blenders like dope one cancer i give i've been using them for years i love them but um Yeah, this makes sense, Cancer, but it does feel that there is, there's a lot of wisdom that I feel like can be had, Cancer, with this energy, and it's just like, it's like, the Six of Crystals is almost giving me this, this energy kind of just like setting your future self up for success, you know, what are we doing right now to, to, to further expand on this experience, and, and again, alleviate these burdens, and This even since we were talking about that compassionate energy energy earlier, that was very kind of a uh, gave me very kind of Pisces vibes there for a minute. But uh, which I mean makes sense. All this Pisces energy we're in right now, Cancer, we're feeling the benefits of that. But this could be something too, like you know, depending on the degree, Cancer. This could be like a maybe we're thinking about allevi alleviating the the world, sir, in some or even like the communities maybe, because you know Libra deals with like. Um, injustice as well if we maybe we've noticed like maybe our our side of town has been like neglected or that there's there hasn't been like a cleanup for a while or something along those lines and what better way can i feel like to even build like a sense of community and things than to doing something like that like shouldering the and not just taking the burden on by yourself you know maybe something you know it's like a lot of, a lot of beauty can happen here within this little pocket here cancer i said you bring it on monday more I like that. I'm gonna leave you there. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some challenges, Cancer. Gemini energy, King of Swords, and now I got the lovers here, Cancer. Let's see what else we got here. So we got the lovers, we got the four of wands, and then we got the six of wands here, Cancer. And I feel like some challenges. It's I feel like it's with this with the lovers being here. It's the it's not even necessarily I feel like challenges more so of just like what do we want to do with this time, you know, I feel like it's, you know, where do you want to take this direction? You know, what does success and achievement look like for you? What is like accomplishment? You know, like, what do we want? Where are we, where, what goals do we want to set? And then, and then it's like celebrating this stuff, cancer. And I don't know, like, there's a lot of, um, you know, maybe for some, maybe we're, I don't know, maybe we're wanting to get in a relationship or in the next, um, you know, maybe go look for love. Just consider with the lovers, four of wands, two of cups. You know, this could be something too. Maybe we want to... It really just kind of feels cancer that we're... 
<clears throat> we really are in a cool time, I feel, where we can kind of, our, our, it's, I feel like we're seeing that we do have more, more choices in how we can do this journey than we're realizing, and they just keep evolving. I was just, I was just kind of talking with someone not too long ago about, just speaking of this Gemini energy, there's going to be, I feel there's going to be a really cool shift that happens when Uranus enters into Gemini. And <clears throat> we were talking about like the VR stuff and all these things and just like, uh, it was interesting to kind of see, think about that and you know, with the potentials where some of these energies can go here, Cancer. So I just feel like we are in a time where it's like we can really, we're, we're in a, there is there's an abundance of choices i feel like and i feel like that's where we're seeing that it's like it's opportunities that i feel like that are getting ready to come here you know it's like the energies have maybe been feeling a little because the energies have been a little rough here uh cancer for a little bit but i now i feel like things are things are slowly starting to 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 vibe a little bit more i feel like people are kind of like more tuning into to their higher self. I was just at this like holistic festival cancer and it was really cool. Like it had like a lot of um the energy was just like out of just, just out of this world. I mean it was just like a lot of like the healing um the sound gongs and I mean crystals and different like different energy readings and things, tarot readers and I feel that there is a and it was just an, a really mixed crowd of people that were there cancer and I do feel that there is this even with the lovers thinking about this spirituality and things along those lines there's a there's a stronger connection with you know whether this is future self spirits the ancestors your uh however however you connect to source cancer and it's and the nice thing too is cancer is beautiful regardless however that connection is is forming it's it's fantastic and it's Oh, uh, we're talking about challenges, though, Cancer. <laughs> and I think maybe a challenge is really kind of leaning into that, leaning into the change and finding the celebration that can come from this, Cancer. You know, because it is, it is a lot to kind of take in, you know, what's what's going down. We really are, I feel like, evolving collectively at a very, hopefully at a very kind of a, at a faster clip here. So, hmm. Something to think about there, Cancer. <laughs> I hope you're hanging with me, Cancer. We're getting the mystical Mondays. <laughs> let's get some, uh, let's get some, let's, uh, let's see what, 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 what Venus has got to say. wifey. I like it. Alright, Cancer, last little bit here. Speaking of options, you have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Crystals here, and then the Temperance card. Cancer, you know, let's switch back over. And just honestly thinking about just when we were just talking about the spirituality there, Cancer, because this is a Sagittarius' card, and they're a very spiritual sign, being one of the signs that Jupiter uh, rules over. And they are the exact opposite of the lovers there, Gemini. So, again, we were talking about that. I feel like, again, that, that comes to, like, choices. Maybe, maybe a challenge here, Cancer, as far as, like, what we're doing in this moment of time. You know, what ideas are we cooking up? You know, are we, are we producing, you know, taking this, like, this intuitive energy here and just, like, really connecting and starting to just, like, this is, like, how she's manifesting these fish here, Cancer. What do your fish look like? You know, and because when I'm, I'm talking about these choices, because with uh, Gemini, the lovers, and Sagittarius, temperance, they're opposite signs of the zodiac, Cancer. And anytime you'd have planets like that, you're performing oppositions, and usually it's a, hmm, it's a situation or another person that is, for, you know, that is bringing about some decisions here, Cancer. And just considering too how you got a, uh, how you got yeah, husband and wife here. Hmm. Gemini and Libra. Queen of Crystals is Libra. But 
feel like we got a lot to think about here, Cancer, with this energy. And, and I feel like try not to let this be where, I feel like it's finding the balance between these these energies, Cancer, you know, because Sagittarius thinks really big and Gemini thinks about the, the details. They're, they're, they're both very intelligent energy here. And you got a lot of, you got not even a lot of, but you have really strong kind of thinking energy here, Cancer. So I feel like in all of this stuff here, it's, I feel like with this Page of Cups too, it's taking a moment to breathe, Cancer, to give your brain a break. You know, maybe if you have been no noticing the mind's been overactive, maybe even just kind of journaling this stuff down just so you have it like just in a place, have it grounded a little bit, and then maybe step away from it just to give your mind a little bit of time to to catch up there and just kind of process everything that goes down, Cancer. Because just thinking with Gemini and, and Sagittarius, both think a lot you know have a lot of can can consider a lot of things so it's um yeah it's it's uh it's a tricky energy with those two but i mean it's it is a very very expansive energy and i feel like it, there there are cancer a lot of opportunities here i feel like that are getting ready to come up now and in the future so it's just like what do we how do we seize them you know and i like that cancer i think i'm gonna leave that there very very, very uh i like that for a uh, Maybe let's make that a thing. This is a goal. I'm gonna have to like you know what, Cancer. I think I'm gonna like I'll I'll make out a I'll map out the weeks and see if we can like maybe keep it in. Uh, oh, that's a good idea, Cancer. I like to kind of spice things up a little bit. Heard? I'll 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 do I'll do something extra, Cancer. You just wait. Mystical Monday it is. But um, what are we doing? Oh, if you like that, Cancer, <laughs> and that idea, give it a thumbs up and uh, share this. I actually like that idea, Cancer, and share this if you um. If you know someone who's been, maybe just been thinking a lot about, you know, this, like those type of present things and maybe been, maybe even been feeling kind of pressured to make something or just like even overwhelmed or something along those lines, you know, just, um, just something to maybe know that cancer, it is okay to be thinking about these things, but it's just like, sure, you know, give yourself, you know, serve yourself some compassion, you know, like we were talking about that waxing crescent. And then if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell button, you get notified of all these videos each day. And then I'm on this meditation app, Inside Timer Cancer, and I started a group on there called Zodiac's Raising the Vibration. And it's just a group to post positive affirmations, encouraging messages, things like that. And then as the group grows, I'm going to start doing different, like, guided meditations, healing music, things like that. You know, maybe do something like uh, connecting with your higher self, with the lovers. I got to find a more smooth way of saying that or finding balance with the temperance, something like that, Cancer, but definitely check that out. And then and lastly... If you, uh, well, not if you, check your sun, your moon, your rising, Cancer, your Venus, your Mercury, and then come on over to my other channel, Alchemist State. I do videos uh, weekly there. It's a good old time. I've actually just got done doing, I was like, I was in Leo energy all yesterday, and that was a, that was a trip there, Cancer. This is kind of fun. I dug it. But uh, all that housekeeping, down in the description box below. But let me get you some prize cards here, Cancer, so I can get you out of here. Interesting, Cancer. So you got the Six of Stars here, which is the Six of Pentacles. I, 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 Cancer, I don't know if I uh, told you this, but the, the stars are the pentacles, and then the crystals are the swords. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to mention that, because I was just like, hmm. I've been just like, well, because where are we all? Like, we've been almost a week in this, Cancer. But with the Six Stars, <laughs> Six Pentacles, I feel like that this is... You know, again, just kind of paying attention to the moment of like where your energies are being being given to cancer. And do you like that? You know, and then if not, what can we do to change? You know, because there are options out there, cancer, even if it's not like it may not be where you want it to be yet. But the fact that you're working towards that direction is a step in the right, you know, is is, is progress and the universe rewards that. And that's something to celebrate here, cancer. But I feel like it, there's. There's just, it seems like this energy is like there's some decisions that be, need to be made here, Cancer. And interesting, I feel like this card has been kind of following you around on and off here, Cancer. You got the Kava Kava card here, which is the community card, the 48th card. And you know what? You do numerology a little bit. I, don't, I like there's, there's a lot when it goes to numerology, but if you reduce the numbers, that's 12, and that's hanged man energy. And I just only bring that up to say it's just like that maybe there's a new perspective that we're seeing from Cancer, but this card is ruled by Pluto and the Moon. And I feel with that cancer, it's like you again. There's you. You're in a. You're in an energy where you can take what you feel to transform what you. It, to, 
you're gonna stay in alchemy here, Cancer. I was just like, what? What's the? There's just like, oh, this is some brilliant trying to come out of here, Cancer. You're gonna stay in alchemy. How this person's just moving the water with their mind back and forth. That's what we're assuming they're doing. But that's what you're gonna be doing here in a minute, Cancer. Is is manifesting. You know, I feel like it's it's, and you can change that to. One is where your thoughts are at, you know, two and just where your heart's at, Cancer, two and is lining those those two up. And then I feel like two is like once you start doing that for you, then there's this energy of that then it expands to the community. You know what I mean? That when you're in that vibration and you're really just like cooking up your ideas and just really, really feeling imbalanced and just like really lined up with your, you know, like just feeling like things are on track, Cancer. I feel like that the community feels that you become this this beacon that that's sending out that, those good vibrations. Can't you raise the vibrations to the roof? And I'm with it. So let's do that, Cancer. <laughs> let's make the there's there's no better time than the present to be doing this stuff and just like and then Cancer. I feel like too that is you know sometimes that that can be seen like a lot of pressure you know like. Um, just like that, uh, always feeling like to, that you need to be doing something. No, Cancer, it is cool to rest as well. Do what higher self is, is indicating. You know, if you've been doing the good work for a while and you're feeling kind of tired, then kick back, Cancer. Take a moment, celebrate what you've done with the Four of Wands. You know, it's all a balance here, but it does take a community, Cancer, so that is something, too, to think about just when we're raising this vibration. It's not just us. It is, we're, we're, we're all connected here. It's, soul tribe you know we're all getting that i love it so I'm, I'm leaving that there cancer that's brilliant but you who stay safe out there making dreams happen cancer enjoy the present moment you know always and when you find yourself stressed and things you know bring yourself back to center find yourself and it's beautiful cancer keep eyes on the moon she's got our back here cancer she's always so it's out there to protect us and it's uh Go, let's get some good energy there, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.